This is our dream tent and the idea is that people can come along and add their dreams to the collection. So we have big filing cabinets full of lots of weird and wonderful dreams, scary, surreal, funny. Inside the tent you can compare your dreams to Tudor dreams, so we can look through diary entries from the period and see what did people dream about back then. You have different ways they used to analyse dreams. They were either an indicator of bad health, if your humours were out of balance, then that would affect what you dreamt about. Also an indicator of your behaviour, if you perhaps hadn't been a good enough Christian, or you've done something wrong, you were guilty about something, that would affect your dreams. Evil spirits would come in the night and sit on your chest and bring you bad dreams. So you would try to regulate and change your behaviour depending on what dreams you were experiencing. The most entertaining area of Tudor dreams from our point of view with the dream tent is looking at how they would try and predict the future by looking at their dreams. If you dreamt about eggs, it meant that you were going to have an argument with someone the next day. If you dreamt about losing your hair, that meant financial ruin. If you dreamt about drinking runny mustard, that meant you were going to be accused of murder. So some quite specific things. It gives us a real idea of how similar we are to the Tudors and also how different and how dreams would affect their sleep in much the same way as routine would, as not preparing at the end of the day, as strange sounds in the night and anything that they could do uh, to get a good night's sleep they would do and that includes ensuring that you don't have bad dreams and that you have the best dreams possible whether that's with jewels and charms or with taking other things to bed with you so bay leaves to ward off evil spirits um, if you wanted a nice dream you might put a piece of cake under your pillow or if you wanted to dream about who you were going to marry apparently you would put an onion in your bed with you why we're not quite sure but um, some of the weird and wonderful things surrounding Tudor dreams <laughs>